En Ituzaingó sucedió eso porque antes nosotros teníamos toda una... Here in Ituzaingó, we used to have farms and cows and fruit trees, but they destroyed all that and planted genetically modified soybeans. Now, when they spray the soy, they also spray us. Argentina is the third largest exporter of soy products in the world. It drives the country's economic boom. Each year, Argentinian soy farmers use over 5 million gallons of Monsanto's Roundup, a highly toxic weed killer. For me, these soybeans mean only destruction and death. At first, I didn't associate my daughter's illness with pesticide spraying. She was three days old when her kidneys failed. I felt horrible. And it was very hard on me. It's difficult for me to talk about losing my daughter. I could not accept the reasons for my daughter's death. That's when I decided to go door to door. Sofia organized other concerned mothers to create a map of all the illnesses in their neighborhood. Their homegrown study revealed that the community's cancer rate was 41 times the national average. What happened in Ituzaingo is a hidden genocide because they poison you slowly and silently. With the study confirming their worst fears, the mothers launched a stop spraying campaign, leading demonstrations and educating the public about the dangers of agrochemicals. I started receiving phone calls threatening to kill my children. Then a man put a gun to my head and told me to stop messing with the soy, but I wasn't going to let them stop me. After 10 years, Sofia's perseverance paid off when President Fernandez ordered the Ministry of Health to investigate the impact of pesticide use in Ituzango. Our study found birth defects in animal embryos exposed to low concentrations of glyphosate, a key ingredient in Roundup. By protesting, we got the laws changed in Ituzaingo. Now they cannot legally spray within 2,500 meters of our homes. Our ultimate goal is to eliminate aerial fumigation throughout Argentina. We have filed a lawsuit and we are seeking justice. If we have to throw away the laws and kick in the doors of the federal courts, we will. For outstanding environmental achievement in South and Central America, the 2012 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Sofia Gatica Cordoba, Argentina. <laughs>